What's up guys, my name is Headphone Mage. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to fight Madame Broods with the really fast speedrun level strats, all right? When I was trying to learn how to do this myself, it became quickly apparent to me that there were almost no resources available. So I had to resort to studying VODs and guessing the proper way to do things. It stumped me for quite a while, but with this video, none of that will be necessary for you. So to kick things off, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is dive right at the chain chomp. Then immediately spin throw twice, once to knock off his hat, and another to capture him. Then shake your controller once while aiming towards the wall and then continue to simply walk towards the wall until the chain chomp starts resisting. Once you see this animation, let it happen for two little shakes and let go of your analog stick. The chain chomp will immediately get sent back to Madame Broods and smack her right in the schnoz. One thing to note here is to make sure that you don't shake your controller one too many times when you're trying to move the chain chomp towards the wall. If you do so, you'll end up doing this extended animation that takes a lot longer to complete than simply walking towards the wall and struggling for a little bit. Another thing of note here is to make sure that you throw Cappy as straight as possible. If you throw him too far in one direction, chances are when he goes to return to you, he's gonna derp out and not actually hit the hat off the chain chomp's head, which will in turn make you miss the cycle and then generally bonk straight into the chain chomp and take some damage. Also, you want to make sure that you're getting this timing just right. If you don't throw Cappy just as Madame Brutal is about to throw the chain chomp, chances are Cappy is going to try and return to you before the chain chomp's in the right position, which will once again make it miss the hat and then you'll end up missing the whole cycle and generally end up bonking, which of course isn't very helpful. Depending on what category you're running allows you to do different things here. You can either spin throw to collect the coins left behind or just leave them if they're not necessary. If you're just starting out with any percent, it might be a bit difficult for you to get them quickly enough to return back to the starting position, so just practice and see what you find comfortable. Next up, quickly get back right at the edge of Madame Brood's throwing range. I like to line myself up with this little nook here as it's an easy visual cue. Then, once her arm is fully cocked back and she's just about to throw the chain chomp, throw out and hold Cappy. Then walk to your left a little distance and crouch. Once you see that the chain chomp is just about to hit the ground after being thrown, backflip. Once you hit the chain chomp, let go of Cappy and let him return to you. Then throw Cappy back towards the chain chomp. If you time this just right, Cappy should instantly capture the chain chomp. As soon as you've captured the chain chomp, hold your analog stick towards the wall. If you captured the chomp boy quick enough, he should instantly start resisting. Hold this for two little struggles and then let go of the analog stick. This will once again send the chain chomp quickly hurtling towards Madame Broods. Do this all again for another cycle and if you get all the timings just right, you'll have defeated Madame Broods in the fastest way possible. For now. So that just about wraps up this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>